I'm Aceid, and this is a new Let's Play of Hearts of Iron 4 as Ireland with the Road to 56 mod installed. So, Road to 56 does change quite a few things, but among other, among other things, it do, does, allow, does add Andorra. Sorry, <laughs> that was just me clicking the wrong thing because I am an Egypt. Yeah. Quite a few, a few changes, in particular, Pandora, Monaco, San Marino, Liechtenstein over here are all playable nations. I'm not going to be doing any of that, as I'm Irish. And there are a few things that have changed. For instance, we start off with this irritating debuff. It's going to screw us over in the short term. And the aftermath of a trade war just after our war of independence. Let's get into it. Does take a bit longer to actually load because they it converts a lot of things, but it extends the timeline quite a bit. I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. Okay. So, another mod that I have is AI Trash Talk. That's what this window is. It I might show that later. It's it's literally just for the sake of comedy having the. AI controlled countries insult each and taunt each other while they play. So, the focus tree has changed, has changed quite a, has changed quite a bit, as you can see. There's one over here for our army, and over here for the air force, the AV, industrial buildup, political. There is this, some Celtic unification thing where. You have to join the axe and go fascist for that, so I am not doing that. Once that happens, you get cores on, say, all of Scotland, North Ireland, and Wales, Brittany. I try it is possible to um, start with them unified, but I haven't tried that. I might do that another time. Another thing that's changed are these national characters, but they're law enforcement. State's mandate, which does cost extra political power, but you do gain some benefits from that. Legal status of women. Basically, you create these are a trade-off between um, factory outputs and recruitable population. Social order. For, for my own testing, I've either gone with melting pot to get the extra construction speed and extra monthly population. Cultural norms, which is just a flash up boost all around. Justification for war, I almost never put this unless I had the extra space. But I'll come to that later. Other things. We have a different mo we have a different uh, industrial concern for industrial research. Probably go with this because synthetic resources are gonna be a problem. Bios. Again, a lot of this stuff has changed, and there are some that try to own North Ireland. Now, there is a way to do that peacefully. See over here, negotiate Northern Ireland resistance. I'm going to be doing that. But anyway, to start off with, I'm going to get this. Uh, start with the general staff. Doesn't got doesn't take long. For some some daily XP. question is, do we take our time with them, which increases our planning? I'd say quickly. The modders have added vo British voice lines to them. Might see about changing it later, uh, but it's not necessary for now. Currently, we have three, two generals and a field marshal. 
Another perk they've added is added is this Homa Connoisseur. So we get extra attack and defense on core territory. That's going to be key. It's going to have to set them to guard Leinster and guys. Add in our field marshal just so. We Usually what I do is um. There was, another, there was another mod I installed to try and make supply hubs cheaper, but that's just ridiculous. Small arms, that's the only thing we're right now. Go with this uh, magazine fort workshop. Not sure which um, magazine fort that is. One of the Phoenix Park one. Spike Islands. Another change is we can actually produce artillery from the start, which that's way more sensible. And I'm going to do civilian trains because they can be sold. Another change here is for these Mayos is we've got Great Southern Railways, which might be useful for tanks later. I'm not going to bother with those. I'm just going to focus on infantry. So this and support equipment. Again, we don't have any planes, but they'll be later. Uh, construction wise, what I'm basically going to do is try, is try and delay some of these until I have the requirements for these. You can see here, to expand the Missouri capacity, you need to have researched basic machine tools. Get this, we need construction one. This, we need gangs to have a, at least a of us. This requires four eight. Basically, the mods have done, have done a fair few changes here. I'm just going to start off with... Yes, I know. Boring old infrastructure. Force research slots. Yeah, that, this is just going to be the, deep, the bog standards. Electrical mechanical construction. Oh, and a couple other things about it. Metal foundries is far, far more self-reliant. I'm going to go with this because we are going to need a lot of steel. So there are two, there are two ways you can get rid of this um, IRA debuff. One, one is to wait, you have to wait until the 1937 elections, which will be June or July, probably. Then either choose Fina Coil or Fina Gale. To Fina Gale, you can take this, which just gets rid of it entirely. Gives you some extra war support and extra, extra support for democracy. But for the other, if you choose Fina Coil, you have to wait until. So the UK is at war with any of these countries, so France, Germany, Italy, say, then go down this and this. That basically negates the, moves the, neg the debuffs entirely, but infantry attack and defense buffs considerably. Since you can't, you can't take terrain without infantry, you can't hold it, but we're going to be clean. As far as the naval side goes, we either focus on but which is what I usually do, base game, or go with, with focus on sea dominance, which gives us some focuses here. These two are both both particularly good. See this what this what this will do is is our dark year down percent. This will do. It is destroyers and convoys cheaper. Convoys? A lot of. Attention. 
usual, this takes forever. I got about 70 days. Probably go with the dockyard effort to try and get convoys out sooner. But this time, I think I'm going to go with expanding the Air Force. And this is just me wasting time, wasting time until I have some things, or spending time until I have. Meantime, I sorry, using up to the. Going to need that uh, later. Up a few um. Few ports here. Basically, the enemy AI has a tendency to try landing in these locations. They basically they have an annoying tendency to try landing in Wicklow, which that's this terrain. I mean, okay, it is right next to Dublin, but yeah. it's an attack panel. Yeah, if the AI is dumb, I am more than willing to exploit that. I'm not gonna bother with an intel agency for now. It's just a, a expense I don't need. Especially since we have a massive deep up to our So yeah, this is the, these are the states that we own to form the Celtic Youth Republic or whatever. Yes, I had, I'm not going to bother with that. After I've got this, I'm going to go straight into the early truck here, just so I have it out of the way. So, the 3D model here is not from Road to 56. That's another mod which, um, which actually give, gives um, a custom, custom, custom model for it based on, based on what our army used at the time. It just looks slightly distinct, and our light tanks will start looking like armored cars. Nothing, nothing major. It's just a. Moment, I'm basically saving my political power to try and get the chief of army, chief, then air force. For chief of army, this um, this guy is cheap. Kind of needs worse defense because defense also adds breakthrough to your. But it's a but it's a while away, yeah. so what time do I have left? Oh, gene tools done in three. Is I will get this out of the way now. But yeah, build, sometimes it builds new um, airfields. Sometimes in Munster, sometimes in Leinster, where we have them. Personally, I prefer to have I prefer to have them. I prefer to have them down here in Munster because we're going to be providing better air support out some approaches. Before I go any further, medium production, boom, done. So yeah, the tech tree has been significantly expanded. I think it go. I think the base game it only really goes down to back here. That gives time. 
kind of going to go with concentrated industry this time because they tend to be far enough away that they're playing. Once I've got the industrial build up, I'm going to expand military and invite American officers. See, there's quite a few things here that requires to um, move up to various countries the Yanks, the Germans, or the Soviets. The question is here, it's probably one with the historical path. As far as political advice go, I can't get this guy until after the election in 37, but I'm probably going to go with him first because silent workhorses, you want them where possible. Also go with this guy to, but to give me an extra spy slot. Then it'll either be Douglas Side for stability or Sean Lamas for extra construction speed. That's a while away anyway. He's exchanged quite a bit as well. Stuff in. They've also changed quite a few of the others used for front images. It's basically a very significant version mod. I am going to rush construction rather than anything else because encouraging foreign investors requires construction free. Sooner we can get to that, sooner we can get some more factories. go with this guy now just so we can start getting to some um, army XP up see that's that's where most of it is coming from so yeah, this is the AI trash talk at work basically he is saying Look at, look at this idiotium scrub trying to beat my superior Italian troops. Funny, they weren't so sad. I haven't spoken Italian, you know. Steve. And the Ethiopians are, are saying the lost if paradox hadn't explicitly coded it, so my allies are dumber than two tons of grass. Eh. I'll probably look back into it at some point. There's absolutely. Like, it has nothing but... Here's our store that started the infantry division. Did I go for a superior firepower and create another one that's just same with infantry? Support artillery? Those are just going to be... Don't need to do much there. Think about this um fighting investors one. It does add an extra factory off screen. And there's another bonus for industry, which will go straight into concentration two. The reason for that is so I can skip to this and get our industry up a little bit quicker.
port. Did I rush the port here? Right. I must invariably go with the that cargo pad because it means we get trucks out quicker. This is a no-brainer, and it's either going to be fuel usage or this fuel usage for extra speed. I'm going to go with the fuel consumption. And that's also a no-brainer. That's only for rocket artillery. That's for mechanized and motorized. Might go with motorized, but that's a, that's a lot, very long term. What's up now? Just. We're beginning some of these. um. Actually, I'm going to queue this instead of the factories because it's quicker and we're short of steel. Support. Support it. Because I also use that, that for spy missions later. It's the organization first because this means we force quicker. Extra attack is good for us and moving forward. The, the, other, the other one I could have gone with there Defensive Doctrine, that just increases Frenchmen, which nice to have, but not strictly necessary. Much until like, this, so... I almost never bought, bother with the, with this branch entirely focusing on foreign designs. Mainly because I do have my own design that works fairly well for local context. Here. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna double back, go into this, develop our own design to kick what to time. Then I'm gonna rush this. Basically, I'm just trying to build up our industry as much as I can, as much as possible, until until the election happens. Then rush into things. Same rush a lot. Stop. Seventy day breaking. Probably have automobile fight, but close enough. Another thing that the miners have done is kind of merge the equipment conversion tech in with the machine tools and downplay it slightly. For instance, I think this originally had tw plus 20% conversion speed here for a separate tech. Other plus 20. And there wasn't really any real where so they got rid of it. The fuel storage now still needs synthetic refineries.
One thing that I do like is this um sniper team deck. So basically, base game there's a bit of a joke about or in the in the community there's a bit of a thing about recon companies being kinda useless, though Arms Against Tyranny DLC does did tweak that slightly so that they would actually buff artillery soft attack. This time, however, we already have this research, it means that cavalry recon and motorized recon will provide snipers. Like such a simple little thing. Or this one. Logistics companies will will increase piercing. Simple thing. Plus, plus. Might just Let's go to radio for the time being. No, it takes a while to research, but it'll pay off. Especially since these um. Oh, wait, that was probably that was probably added in the base game. One other thing they've done is. Is a uh, radio direction finding. That helps with with tracking in submarines and stuff like that. I also like the idea that the atomic research and rocketry require. Because you probably wouldn't have probably wouldn't wouldn't be able to research them before that anyway. Okay. Thirty odd days, is there any Three five days until uh, uh, this is going to be thirty four days. It does mean I'm going to burn this on a very early, very early fighter, but I can actually go with that. Like, like I said, I'm probably going with superior firepower because it just works. So they, there is this um, new, tr new tree for asymmetrical warfare. I did try it, but it didn't quite work out for me. The main reason I did it was I had to look at this. And this whole... That's huge how I fight when I'm on the defensive as Ireland. On the attack as Ireland. Very small, very small, concentrated pushes. But it's gonna go with superior firepower because hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Then straight. And by the time that's done, concentrate is done, which means I can rush straight into a air industry expansion. Let's see, let's be around here. So yeah, last weekend I was at the Maritime Flying Boat Museum in Foynes in County Limerick. Well worth a visit if you're ever in the area someday. We'll experiment machine tooling.
bonuses for fighter reduction. This thing. So, I can now decide on the lead status of women. I'm probably going to wait for this, um, until I have the physical power of return quality. It does reduce our factory output, but that's... I can actually work with... I can work around that. But I can't work around reduce the population factor. That's something we are going to be chronically short of. Meantime, I am going to start with this guy because screens include um, destroyers and light, which are more likely to be long run, short run. Oh, actually. Still anything. Might as well sell off some more right, some right brains. Ah. Generous of them. Now it's kind of wasted on just um getting this infrastructure out of the way, but let's see. That's just some government. They're already a lot more like this is going to use our stability a bit. I think it's worth doing. Now, I'm just going to get superior fire burn because I do not want to wait for focus trees to complete. It does mean I'm a little short, but. I know this isn't really a very long focus from the state infrastructure, but if I can skip it, why not? Skip it by doing things I'd have to, by researching things I'd have to do anyway. So I'm just going to give them some support artillery. I have it to spare, and it, it buffs every, quite a bit. So it doesn't cost much. Cost much. Going to be a lot of bang for my buck. And I will probably sell off the off the trucks because I can't upgrade them. I. So, in the base game, there's only the one mile for aircraft. As it stands, we now have four. Two of them require us to control Northern Ireland. So I'm going to go with the Maldonado Workshop. That's that's pretty much where our well, air base is in real life. So long. Oh.
aircraft bombs first because wait, they're quick to do. And one thing I picked up from watching Beatback Gaming stuff is go with battlefield support. Get down here when you get down here, the close air support will um it basically is 20% agility to anything classes close air support means bombs in, in the first weapon slot. And we're probably going to be using them for close air support play. For I mean, it could go with bold attack for engineering schools. Or it's engineering because of the of the penalty that fortresses and and river had. It also bumps up these scavenger trains. So the more stuff that we hire from them. Get this Jim Gay Russian aircraft engine too because anything less is just not worth it. I still have about a two months, let's might as well just get this dockyard in. And the great thing about this is it adds dockyards for me, so I I'll need to build it myself. Some games I found that the yet that the Americans are very happy to buy trains off us. I think they'd have their own in stock, but I might come back to that later because if I do focus on sea dominance, this does require them to have a relatively high opinion of us. But again, I can come I can come back to that once they get some extra. Machine gun. One. Okay, so we need range. Speed, range, air, and Probably ground attackers are specializing in bombers. Soon gonna have that top. Hey. Always nice to see that. Things have been have been changed. The costs have been changed. They also have this new garrison in 
type, which is just meant to sit in one place and do nothing. I'm not going to bother with those. Oh, yeah. Cards. That'll probably put us into the, oh, we're getting low in manpower. Just about. Not to worry about that. Ah, sorry. This. It's pretty much how I always ways end up doing them. The main reason I'm trying to buff this is it does bump up all our defense, breakthrough, and makes them cheaper. Probably offset the Sorry. Range improvements. Very important. It's a new event. Told you the Americans would fight our trains. A few countries have, cha have changed name. Well, actually, I had not heard of Sam. Sam? It's a it's a modern version of a game that is set that is set thirties and forties. Yeah, this special research division is also new to 56. I might just go with this because it means our product production efficiency is quicker and worrying so much about lack of resources, which I think that's a bit of a problem right now. have a month to about uh, election so I'm gonna focus on this now we can see basically just killing time until I almost never use this so my convoys they cost a loss of steel I'm basically killing time until I can choose either of these two. I'm gonna go with go with this. I'm not really a fan of either. But there are two options I have. After that, I'm gonna first go with push the constitution to unlock this political advisor. Then abolish the upper the then go down. And here, reclaim the treaty ports, and then the air acts. That'll get rid of this trade war. Which...
six days, I can start doing this. So, just confirm. First weapon, the weapon in the very first slot, that's the main armament that defines what this is. So air support. Drop tanks and create increased range, but they don't imp impede your combat performance to keep dropping before that. Later I might just double back and see if I can get the um, No, I almost never use this. I might, I might as well just because our air defense and air attack isn't. Head, light anti air. Scheduling all these um words and things best idea. But at some point. This is Things take forever. Where they go? Put with air safety because I not want to do stupid accidents. I want to create just taking things long to like Or, so I'm gonna stop there and come back and come back in the next. I think this is worth. I think this is worth doing. Let me know. It's uh, been. Well, we'll see. You next one.